Hey guys, it's Derek, Children's Pastor with Lifeguard Kids. I want to teach you guys how to do the payday. And I tell you it was made right now, but it was made in a mistake earlier. So anyway, let's get to it. This is what you need to do the trick. You All you actually need to do the trick is two small objects that are the same and one that is different. So the way I did it, I used two half dollars and one copper penny. That's all you need to do the trick. These were additional props so that I could do this, or so the dodo could do this, without audience participation because we're on camera and it's hard to get audience after church and everybody leaves. Anyway, normally the way you do this trick is you'd have uh, two kids come up and you, you, what, what we did is we asked them, which one of you wants to promise me you'll do a whole lot of work. And they're probably both going to raise their hand. You, you, so you might want to start with which one of you wants to promise with a little work. They might neither raise their hands. But what you do is you get them to the point where one of them is promising you that they're going to do a lot of work and the other one is promising you they're going to do a little work. And so you introduce the coins and say what you're going to pay with. Now you can use quarters, you can use dimes, you know, whatever you wanted to use. Just make sure you have two of one and one of one. And that's going to depend on, or that's going to Determine. That's going to determine the order how you do the trick. Thank you, cameraman. <laughs> and so the way that works is the one that you that you have one of, that's the first one you're going to do the trick with. Okay? And so you want items that can fit in your palm, which is why I used half dollar and a copper penner because penny, because they're the perfect size to do a standard palm, especially because you can do, you can palm these things and it doesn't really look too unnatural as long as you kind of mirror the actions with the other hand. So that's the idea behind having these bigger coins. When I first learned this trick, um, it it was it's milk toppers. Um, the what you what you screw onto the top of milk, you go get like a two percent that's a blue top, and go get I don't know fat free that's red. I don't know what they are. But get a blue one, or get two blue ones. Actually, what I did is I got two blue ones and two red ones. Because sometimes you want to uh, do one object lesson where this one starts and that one finishes or whatever. So I got two blue and two red. And I've got them in a bag, and if I want to use them, I just switch them out and do it one way or another. But this time we're using coins because we're to, we were talking about payday. But you can use this for a lot of stuff. Um, you actually might remember, I think I've taught this trick before when we did it for the Daniel Fast and I used the milk tops. I'll go ahead and put a link to that because I might have taught it better then. So <laughs> anyway, so you got the coins and you start off with one of the double coins or one of the double items palmed in your hand. So you start off like that and I used the handkerchief. So these are optional if you just, if you just had no way to have um, help. So I'll show you how to do it both ways. So I'm going to take some stuff out of my pocket so my pockets will be the uh, people doing the volunteering. So what you do is you'd say, you know, the person who, for this, in this case, this is the coin that's, um, that I don't have a double of, so I start with it. This is the one I'm going to give to the, give to the person first. So this is a person that's not doing a lot, they, they promise they're not doing a lot of work. So you're giving them the smaller amount of money. Now it might be argued, I'm actually not sure, a copper penny may be worth more than a half dollar. I, I don't, I don't know, I've never looked that up, but if you say penny, most people go, that's not worth as much as a half dollar. So that's why I went with that. If this is more expensive, I'm sorry. Anyway, so you gotta have your, you've got your copper penny, and what you do is you just want, it's, it's nice if you have a pocket because if they have like a jacket pocket, now you don't really want to get into somebody's pants pocket like this because it's kind of awkward. You know, going up to somebody, especially a kid, and shoving something in their pocket, especially when you, what you're having to do to do this because you want to make sure the coin's shown and then you sorry and then you put the coin into the pocket but you want to go deep enough to where you're not dropping this you're dropping this into their pocket so this goes in you drop that out of the meteor hand so now I'm like this in there I've dropped the half dollar instead of the copper penny and as I push in I'm pushing the coin into my fingers so now I look like I have an empty hand 
and I bring that back into a palm because so, I'm already now I'm already set for the next one and that's how you get that into a pocket now like I said it's, it's best if the kids have jackets because like I said you don't really want to be rubbing on their leg trying to get especially because there's they're smaller pockets or whatever so maybe if you have a, uh, a helper that's that's older you can use a jacket pocket or whatever but I mean, if the jacket pockets are usually best because they stick out like this you can put it in there and it, and it works really nice otherwise you can use the handkerchief and the way that I did the handkerchief was you take the handkerchief you put it in the palm of your other hand I've got my half dollar back in the palm of my hand here and the copper pen here and so what I'm doing here is as I'm coming down to drop this into here one of the things you want to do is don't look at the coin if you look at the coin everybody's looking at the coin what you want to do is as you do this you're looking at them and you're talking you're saying so I'm gonna give this coin to him now you don't want to do it just happened there you heard the clink you don't want that because what I did now I was looking at the audience and talking to them that's very important and now I'm going to do what you shouldn't do I'm gonna look at it while I do it but this is what's happening you're coming down to put the coin in you're pushing your fingers up the audience is that way looking this way you're pushing your fingers up so you're covering what's happening behind here. As you come behind here, you're dropping that coin into your hand like that. Now, you don't want to bring that up and show that you haven't put the coin there. I was doing that so you could see the drop. Now, let me show you this in as real time as I can do it. Of course, you don't want that nick. You don't want that. If you have to, yell or something if you think that might happen. We actually had to do two takes because I had it happen during the filming. So as you come in, you bring that, you drop it, you keep having it knit. <laughs> you come down, drop it, there we go. And now, of course, everything you just saw when I was doing that, they wouldn't see because you'd be this way. This looks like this from the right side. You take the coin, you're talking to them, you're looking at them, you put it down, and that's it. It doesn't look funny at all, except for the fact I'm over here messing with my hand. But if you do that, like, if you kind of make that a normal act, action that you do, people aren't going to find that odd. That's one of the biggest reasons I use Dodo. Dodo's very fidgety. He's kind of all over the place. He does a lot of stuff. He touches a lot of things. So if he's moving his hand like this, or if he's putting his hand in his pocket, you don't think anything of it. But if it's me, I'm very calm. I'm very reserved. I'll sit back. I'll... So if I, when I do magic, personally, I have to make it very smooth to make it look good. And Dodo's kind of a cover for that. So that's a little secret for all you guys out there to put on a mask for doing these tricks. So, oh, I have the wrong one in my hand. Tricking myself. So this one gets put in, set like that. And I just turn it over. And you got the coin in there. And I rolled it in. And so I got, I got a, it's kind of see-through. But when you get it in there, you can't really tell which coin is in there, which makes a nice little effect, so you can set that down. And that one looks like he put a coin in there. You know he put a coin in there. You know I put a coin in there, but what I got is I still have the copper penny in my hand. So then we do the next one. And of course, it's the same thing. You've got this one set in your palm because you just move it into your palm as you're talking, doing something else, as you, you know, once you've set that down or once you've put that in their pocket. And then you go do the same thing again with this coin. You, you show that and you into their pocket. Like that. Real simple. Looks like I put it in the pocket, but really, it's still in my hand. And that one's in the pocket. So, same thing with the uh, white one. Exact same moves as before. You've got this one. Wait, wait, wait. That's wrong. So you're showing this, come down, put it in, turn and flip that over, roll this, and actually right now, just so you know what's going on, this is still in my palm. I haven't got rid of it yet. So you want to make sure, like, this is all kind of normal because I'm twisting this. You would, even if this wasn't in my hand, I would twist it like this. That's a normal way that your hand would react, so it's a great thing to do and still have this palmed in your, in your hand because the, the, the action of your hand is still the same. It doesn't change. So it's a great way to hide it right there in plain sight. So then you can show this. And when you show this, if you want to do it this way, you can show this, drop that in your pocket, 
and move on. Because everybody, if you put that forward, everybody's going to look at it. You drop it in your pocket. Now what Dodo did is he set it down, and he sat back, and he was like, you know, I'm done. And when he put his hands in his pockets, he dropped the coins into his pockets. And so now you're set for the end. You, all the rest of this is acting. The rest of this is just moving along and, and acting. So then you show there's a switch. And my camera end was very uh, helpful in this. Now with the, with the pockets, you have them, one at a time, reach in their pocket and pull out the coin. And they're like, whoa, that's not the coin that was put in my pocket. Or, whoa, that was not the milk top that was put in my pocket. And it's very surprising. They, the magic happens in their own pocket. They pull it out with their own hand. It's much more powerful than even what's happening with the handkerchiefs here. And so with the handkerchiefs, like I said, my camera man pointed this out. When I did it first, I took the coin and I dropped it like this in my hand. And he, he made mention that um, if, if anybody uh, at all was thinking about, you know, how do you do the trick, well, maybe he had, maybe I had the other coin in this hand and made it look like it dropped in here, which actually is kind of a clever move for if you ever want to do that for anything else. But... So what we did instead is we changed it to where you, this is all rolled up. And so you pick it up and you set the coin in your hand and then open this to let it be revealed very nice and uh, clear that you didn't do anything. It was in there, which it is. So it's nice. You don't have to do any special moves or anything. So it looks real magical. And I also, another case in point, uh, with this is I made sure that I ended up with the silver coin in the red handkerchief because it pops a whole lot better. Let me show you, well, I'll get that out and I'll show you in a minute. But so I did that, and so this this one, you grab you grab the coin, show the coin, that's the coin. Put it, put the coin in your hand, and then reveal that it is in there. There's no way I could have done anything tricky there. Now I'm having a hard time showing it to the camera, but so the, that's in there. And I did the same thing here. I purposefully made sure that the copper penny ended up in the white handkerchief because it, it pops more. Now let me show you what I mean by that. If I take this out and I put the silver one in, it kind of disappears slightly into the, into the white. Not, like if I put these side by side, which one do you see better from the camera? Obviously it's going to be the copper penny. And so, same thing over here. I picked the silver to go into the red for the same reason, because it's going to pop. I'm having a really hard time doing this. It's going to pop color wise way more than the copper penny in here. So, you look at that, the, the silver dollar, the half dollar, sorry, so half dollar pops a whole lot more in the red. So, that's something to think about. Think about the colors. You know, if you're using the blue belt tops, obviously you don't want the red one to end up in here because. It's going to be hard to be able to see. Now you would act like you're putting it in there, but the blue one's going to show up in there. So I hope that, I uh, hope you guys understood it. I hope you guys uh, have fun with it. See you next time. Hey guys, it's Derek, the Children's Pastor with Lifeguard Kids. And I want to teach you guys how to do the payday. I just made that up. So when you see it on the videos, you know that it just got made up right now. That's one's got a name. All right, let me move on. So, in order to do this trick, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start over. Take two. <laughs> 